If you're a gamer, that means you want the biggest, best, and most badass monitor that you can get your hands on to game. We'll check it out. Today, we're gonna to be checking out another killer monitor from the people over at BenQ. This is the EX350IR gaming monitor. It's packed with all kinds of crazy features, but before we jump in and check out this monitor, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, Busy Future. Nobody wants a nasty computer virus on their PC, and if you don't have any antivirus software, you may just be in the market for some. And right now, Busy Future has great deals on antivirus software. Deals as low as $15. And what's better yet, right now you get a free Windows 10 Pro key with any purchase. So if you need some antivirus software, check out the link below. Monitor real estate is really just getting bigger and bigger. I remember back in the day when I had a Tandy computer and it literally had a four inch little gray screen. And things that used to be considered totally out of reach are now commonplace. 32 inch monitors are becoming the new standard size for gamers and artists alike. But how about a 35 inch gaming screen? I mean, that sounds cool, right? Yeah. Now this particular monitor features an 1800R curved VA panel. And you're gonna notice something right off the bat is that this particular monitor has a bezel that is almost completely non-existent. And this particular monitor, the reason I actually wanted to get this monitor is because I have two of their other monitors of the 32 inch variety. And I wanna use this as my center monitor and then put two of the 32 inch ones around it for a huge triple screen gaming you know, system is going to be awesome. Now what comes inside the box? You get obviously the monitor itself, you get the power cable, the user's manual, you get a single display port, a single HDMI cable, and one USB type C cable. So all right, this monitor is almost completely black. It does have some silver trim and it has a silver backplate and stand, which we'll talk about in a little while. Now, the EX350IR boasts a 35 inch VA backlit LED panel with an ultra WQHD resolution of 3440 by 1440. Now this monster monitor has a brightness level of 300 nit, a response time of four milliseconds gray to gray, a 21 to 9 aspect ratio and a full 170 degree viewing angle. If you don't know what that means, it pretty much means that no matter where you're looking at the monitor, where you're looking at it from the side, from over here, kind of up here, down there, it's always going to be the same type of landscape that you're seeing. Another really cool thing about this particular monitor is it has a refresh rate of 100 hertz and it includes FreeSync technology. So if you've got the right card, you can get the best gaming experience you can with no screen tearing or ghosting in your games. The EX350IR has 103 pixels per inch. It has a dynamic contrast ratio of 20 million to one and also HDR technology, which means you're gonna get the best clarity, colors in black while streaming movies and TV. All of the control features are on the right hand side on the bottom of the monitor. You simply just click on the button, scroll through everything. It's easy to control and very easy to access. Now it doesn't matter whether you're an artist or you're a video game guy or you're just a hardcore gamer, chances are that you're going to be staring at your monitor for hours and hours on end. Now BenQ has had some of the best eye protection for quite a long time and they do this so you can protect those two eyeballs that you have in your head because let's just face it, they're irreplaceable. With flicker-free tech, low blue light and brightness intelligent plus, this is a technology that automatically adjusts the color temperature of your monitor depending on the available ambient light in the room you're playing your games in. And let's just face it, if you don't have any eye strain, you can play for a lot longer. Now on the back of the monitor, you guys can see it's a completely silver landscape. Now it offers connectivity through HDMI. There are two of these connections. There's a display port and there's also a USB type C connection. You also get a headphone jack and there are also two USB 3.0 hub connections. One for downstreaming and the other for upstreaming. Now one thing I also like about this monitor is you can actually adjust the monitor's height and you can do this up to 60 millimeters. And you can also adjust the tilt from five to 15 degrees. 
Now we use the Leo Bogner tool right here to do input lag in this particular monitor. Got about 9.1 milliseconds, which in the overall theme of things, which is a, a thousand milliseconds is a second. It's really virtually nothing. Now taking a look at the monitor, you guys can see that text is very crisp and very clear. It doesn't matter whether you're working in Word or whether you're just checking out the internet. The text on this monitor is very crisp and very, very clear. Also, movies look really good. Now, obviously this isn't the best top of the line HDR technologies on the market because, well, it's a VA panel for one thing and it's geared for gaming. It's not really, you know, an IPS panel, you know, geared for their different types of things. But gaming, which is is really what it's geared for you guys can see games look great all the colors are vibrant everything's really super duper bright i mean for gaming which is what this monitor is geared for it looks absolutely wonderful and since the thing is so wide i mean it really feels like you're immersed inside of the game when you're playing it and the way i plan on having it set up with two more 32 inch monitors on the side with this big old 35 inch bad boy in the center that's going to be a whole hell of a lot of gaming real estate so far, everybody who sat down in front of this monitor or even just has taken a look at this monitor has been like, wow, that thing just looks absolutely great. So right off the bat, I'm going to have to say that because of the FreeSync technology, because of the way that you can adjust it, the tilt, the way that text looks great, movies look solid, gaming looks excellent. I mean, this is seriously, I feel, an editor's choice product because there are some monitors, you know, that are G-Sync compatible that cost a little bit more um actually quite a bit more some of them are ranging from a thousand you know going all the way up into two and you know the price of these things are crazy so FreeSync is a much much uh more affordable solution there are even some nvidia cards now that will actually support the technology so just check out whatever video card you have because if your video card is amd based or you can check out some of the nvidia based cards and maybe you have a compatible card getting that FreeSync lock making it so that all of your games play without screen rips without ghosting tearing any of that kind of stuff it just makes your gaming experience a much better place and at 100 hertz it's not as good as 144 obviously it's probably not as good as 240 or 360 or millions of, you know what i'm saying but hey 100 hertz is great i played for hours on end with the monitor um, i was using a 5600 xt and a 5700 xt on my intel system and everything looked absolutely great on that monitor so i have no complaints whatsoever for so for me at the end of the day this is an editor's choice product here in 2020 you can see our little editor's choice thing here like usual we will have information down below we'll have links to their website um, also if you want to go check out other people's reviews and see what they have to say about that before your purchase I would suggest you do so also if you like what you see we'd love to see you subscribed here also there are tons of ways to support this channel through patreon where you can do a dollar a month um, there's just all kinds of ways you can try Amazon Prime it's free for a month you just try it out and we get credit for that and it helps keep you know the site going so every little bit counts peace out thanks for watching the video like I I said we're like kind of tilting now where the videos are going to start slowing down as i move back east um we'll have some videos but just not as many as we totally you know get adjusted to two teams working one back there and one out here thanks for watching we'll see you guys back here on the channel